Welcome to the Hand Down Kitchen, where we bring recipes out of the past and back into the kitchen. To celebrate the new year, we'll be sharing with you recipes for three antique cocktails. Last week, we showed you how to make the 1928 Leap Year Cocktail, and in this second video, we'll be showing you the Clover Club, a sweet pink cocktail named after the Philadelphia Gentlemen's Club it was created in at around the turn of the 19th to 20th century. The cocktail recipes we've used are from the beverages chapter of Cookery Illustrated and Household Management. We'll be making the Bronx, the Clover Club, and the Leap Year, all using ingredient brands that were around in 1936 when this book was published. And in this video, it'll be the Clover Club, which requires the following ingredients. Gin, either grenadine syrup or raspberry puree, Angostura bitters, orange juice, lemon juice, one egg, and some ice. Empty your ice into the shaker and then pour in the right amounts of each drink. Add a third of a cocktail glass of gin, which is 40 milliliters. Then add a quarter of a cocktail glass, which is about 30 milliliters of grenadine syrup or raspberry puree. We're using syrup here. Next, half a cocktail glass, which is about 60 milliliters of lemon juice. And the same amount of orange juice. Then add a few drops of Angostura bitters. The last thing to add in is an egg white. Now before you go ahead and make this cocktail, decide whether or not you're going to use egg white after checking your country's guidance on eating or drinking raw eggs, as this can be dangerous. Put the lid back on and shake it up. Pour your cocktail into a champagne glass. In the 1930s, this would have been a champagne saucer rather than the new style champagne flutes that we have here. So if you have one of those, definitely use it. And there it is, the classic Clover Club cocktail. We hope you enjoyed this video, if so please leave us a like and if you'd like to see us recreate more antique recipes be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can also find full instructions for this recipe and many more on our website, linked in the description box below.